I'm Anil Kumar and in this video we'll explore relation between binomial coefficients and Pascal's triangle. So let's begin by expanding binomials. Now that is to say that if I have let us say a plus b to the power of 0 what do I get? And if I have a plus b to the power of 1 and if you expand it what do you get? If I have a plus b whole square then what is the result and if you have a plus b whole q then what do you get now anything to the power of zero as you know is one anything to the power of one is the number itself which in our case is a binomial a plus b so we get a plus b right but if case we have a square then we we know the formula it should be a square plus 2ab plus b square. For q, we can multiply a square plus 2ab plus b square by a plus b, expand and simplify. Then what we get here is a q plus 3a square b plus 3ab square plus b q, right? Similarly, we can continue. So once we expand and simplify, we'll get few terms as shown here. Now important thing here is that when this exponent, let's say the exponent n is 0, we get one term. When the exponent n is 1, we get two terms. When the exponent is 2, we are getting three terms. When the exponent is 3, we get four terms. So number of terms is one more than the exponent that is what we see we also observe that the exponents are same as n here we could say a to the power of zero right b to the power of zero all are one correct so anything to the power of zero is one so therefore here we could choose a to the power of zero that means the exponents when they get added up is kind of same as n right here a when you write a one is the exponent for b one is the exponent so the exponents are one in this case it is more clear a square the exponent is two same as that here what is the degree of this term the term 2ab when you combine one and one one plus one is two again the degree is two right degree of this term is two so what we notice here is that the degree of the terms is same as n. In this case, a plus b whole q, degree of each term is 3. When we say degree, so we are just saying the literal values exponents when added up, they give you the degree, right, of each term. So for each term, the degree is what the value of n is. So that is also something which we learn from these expansion. Now the question we started with was finding a relation with Pascal's triangle. Does it remind you something about Pascal's triangle? Well let's now analyze the coefficients right. So here we have coefficient 1. Let me write down 1. In this case coefficients are 1 1 so I'm just writing coefficients 1 and 1 right. So let me just draw some arrows just as we had in Pascal's triangle, right? Now here we have three coefficients. Do you see that? So, so on the two sides, the coefficients are, as you can see, one, right? One is coefficient of a square, one is coefficient of uh, b square. The coefficient of the center term is two, which you can get by combining one and one. Do you see that? So that is how you could get Pascal's triangle. Now if I extend this pattern as we did in Pascal's triangle, do we get the same coefficients as for q? Well, this is 1, okay. And then we have 3, which is 1 plus 2, 3 again, which is 2 plus 1, and then 1. So what we observe here is that the pattern being followed is similar to Pascal's triangle right 
Now we'll be referring to these coefficients as binomial coefficients, correct? Uh, where the term, uh, let me write here, NCR, NCR will be equal to N factorial over R factorial times N minus R factorial. So that is the formula for the terms. Now since we know this is the term where n is 0 and we are calling this as as 0th column, right? So in this case, we can write this or replace this term by, let me write down here, as uh, n c 0. So here we are just calling about n n c r was general. The first term here n is 0, right? So we'll write this as 0 c 0, right? This term we are writing at 0 c 0. Then the next term is where n value is 1. So we have 1 c 0 and this one is 1 c 1, correct? And then we have the so this is row number 0, row number 1, and then we have row number 2. In row number 2, it is 2C0, 2C1, 2C2, correct? And in the third row, what do we get? In the third row, we get 3C0, 3C2, 3C2. I mean 1, 3C2 and 3C3, correct? Now if you calculate these binomial coefficients, you'll get the same values. So what we see here that in general, in general from here we can say that T and R is equals to, uh, sometimes we also write this as C and R, we sometimes write as like this vector form. Uh, we also write this as NCR as we have been writing, correct? These are different ways of writing these binomial coefficients. But there is one-to-one -one correspondence between the Pascal's triangle and the binomial coefficients, correct? So using this, you can actually also find the, the fourth power of binomial. That is, if you use this pattern, then you can write a plus b to the power of 4 as equal to. I will write in terms of these coefficients. It becomes kind of simpler. So we'll say 4c0 a, right? So a to the power of n, which is 4, plus 4c1 a q, and the other term is b, then 4c2 a square b square, plus 4c3 a b q plus 4 c 4 now a power becomes 0 and b becomes 4 so I'm not writing a to the power of 0 but the idea here is that this combination of exponents is always 4 right each coefficient is same as its position on the Pascal's triangle correct written in this form which you can calculate right so if you calculate these basically it means if there are four items, choose zero. That is only one way you can choose from four items, none of them, right? So, so what we're trying to say here is uh, you have four items, right? Choose one, I mean none, right? None of them. So when you choose none of them, there's only one way. So that is one way. Now you can see that if you have to select one of them, right? So you could select either this one, that one, this one, or that one. That means these are four, right? One plus three is also four, so you get that four. Now if you have to select two of them, then uh, let me take up an example. Let's say I may write down my name, Anil, right? So if you select two of them with A, you could select N, I, or L. So there are three ways, right, with A with n we have already selected a so you could select i or l so there are two ways with i you could select l so there is one more way and when you add them up you get the number three plus two five plus one six 
When you add 3 and 3, you do get 6. Do you see that? Similarly, you can work out what happens when you select 3 at a time from 4, right? So, if you are selecting 3 at a time, so let me again take the same example, A and I L. So, <clears throat> so when you select 3 at a time, in that case, you'll get 4 combinations. You can select A and I, right? So, with A, you can select N I, or with A, you could select I L or N L, correct? So, these are 3 things you could select with A, correct? And with N, what you can do is you could select A and I, which you have already selected, right? So when you select A and I, correct? So there's one more way with N, you could select N, I, L. You get an idea, right? So that is one more way. So once you do that, you have made all the selections where three can be combined together. And so what you get here is four. Now the last one here is choose four out of four. So you have to choose all four. There's only one way to do it. So you fill that up. So what you also see that these combinations, the coefficients also follow the pattern that you add previous two to get the next one, correct? So that is very important to understand. So what we have done here is we have linked binomial coefficients to Pascal's triangle with a great significance and that is now we have a formula do you see this formula here ncr so if i have to know what is the combination here i don't have to start from the top add and come to the stage right i could say uh, well it is 5c1 and i can use the formula and find the value so that is a huge significance of binomial coefficients We'll kind of summarize these learnings in the next video, take a few more examples, and I hope that gives you a good introduction on linking binomial coefficients with Pascal's triangle and, uh, you know, solving many similar questions. I hope that helps. I'm Anil Kumar. You can subscribe and share my videos. Thank you and all the best.